Hello, everyone, and welcome to the St. Francis Preparatory School Virtual College Fair, and thank you for joining us today. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A feature on your screen to ask questions to our panelists at any point during the presentation. Your camera and microphone are both off, so our panelists cannot see nor hear you. It's just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for more. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash SFP. Thank you. And with that being said, I'd love to turn it over to our first school, who is Hartwick College. Hello. So hi everyone, my name is Nora Mendez. I am the Associate Director of New Market Development here at Hartwick College. Um, Hartwick College is located in upstate New York in Oneonta, which is about three and a half hours north of New York City. We are an hour um, east of Binghamton, an hour west of Albany, and 30 minutes away from Cooperstown, the baseball hall, of, where the Baseball Hall of Fame is located. So Hartwick College is, um, a small campus, we have 1200 stu students. Our student to faculty ratio is 10 to one. We have um, over 40 uh, majors and programs. Our average class size is about 15 and we have about um, oh, 44 plus uh, minors. So some of the programs that you can study at Hartwick College, um, our top five majors are nursing, biology, business, psychology, and criminal justice, um, along with several minors and um, unusual areas that um, students can have the opportunity to also study like cognitive science, environmental sustainability and society, graphic communications, um, and you can also design your own major with our independent student program. Um, students at Hartwick College have had the opportunity to major, double major, um, double minor, triple major. Um, one of the big things that students love to do is connect two different uh, programs and pretty much make it their own. So along with our 425 acres of land at Hartwick, we also have an environmental campus called Pine Lake, um, where students can you go and do research along with recreational use and even live out there. There are a set of cabins um, that students can live out there, giving themselves an independent living. 31% um, of our students participate in one or more sports. We have 19 teams and we are part of Division Three for the NCAA. Um, and we also have over 60 um, clubs and organizations at Hartwood College, um, everything from International Club to our Black Student Alliance um, to even um, our honors programs. It's really beneficial for all of the students and a lot of our students uh, take on the opportunity to join. So this year we've done something different at Hartwick. We have now um, included a Hartwick's flight path. So every student will have um, their own designated um, program here at Hartwick. So you start off with um, two uh, people creating your guidance team, your success coach, along with your faculty advisor. As you move on up throughout the years, you will also um, build a relationship with a career coach and an alumni mentor. So all of these, um, people will have uh, will be creating your guidance team and you'll have the opportunity to um, find out your strengths with the Clifton Strengths Assessment along with doing internships in major cities like Boston, Washington, DC, New York. Um, and you will also be able to meet with our partnerships um, and work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Also, when it comes to Hartwick, affordability is a major thing for us. We offer between 100 to 152,000 um, over four years in merit scholarship. Uh, students who file for the FAFSA will end up getting a um, generous amount in order to make Hartwick as affordable as possible. 
And in order to apply, it's really simple. You can either apply through the Common App or our own Hartwick app. I um, mean, it is free. Uh, we are test optional. Um, this year, it was a little different for nursing majors. Um, we made it test optional for them um, as well. But um, in the past, they we did require it um, for just them. Uh, we look for around an 85 GPA, um, your high school transcript, any extracurricular activities, a personal statement, um, letters of recommendation, those really play a big role for us. We wanna get to know you as the individual, not just based off of your grades. And if you have any additional questions, this is my contact information. Um, if you would like to set up a personal on-campus visit, you can go onto our website, hartwick.edu slash admissions. If you have any questions about visiting or setting up a virtual chat, again, you can also email admissions at hartwick.edu. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Nora. Next up we are going to have Russell Sage College. Hey folks, uh, good to be here everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Holsapple. I am the New York City Admissions Counselor with Russell Sage College uh, up in the Capital District. Um, so if you haven't heard of Russell Sage College, um, we are a, um, a small private school uh, in the Capital District uh, with two campuses uh, in uh, the capital city of Albany, uh, and the city of Troy, which is about 10, 15 minutes up the road. Um, we have, uh, we have 1300, we have a student body of about 1300 students uh, as undergrads and they are split up across both of those campuses. Um, and most of our freshmen live on campus. Um, so what I'm gonna do here sort of after, uh, is I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, run through of just some, uh, some useful facts for you guys, but then, um, what I will do is I will switch it over and just uh, show you some quick, um, some videos about, uh, that tell you a bit more about campus life than I think I can with just my voice. Um, but yeah, so uh, like I said, we're uh, a small uh, small college with two campuses uh, in, the, uh, in the Capital District. Our most popular programs are health science, uh, are the health sciences, uh, including nursing, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and pre-med. Uh, childhood education, uh, fine arts, uh, including graphic and media design, interior and spatial design, arts and extended media, as well as criminal justice. Those are some of our uh, biggest and most popular majors, but of course we have others. Um, and please do feel free to ask. Um, we, all of those, uh, all of our majors though, um, have one thing in common, have actually a few things in common. Um, they all tend to be interdisciplinary in nature. So you will be taking courses um, not just in your major, uh, but you'll be taking courses um, from a variety of disciplines in order to give you a really well-rounded background um, and also just give you a firmer, uh, a broader foundation uh, when you're going forward into the workforce or continuing your education. Um, and all of our programs also have an experiential learning component required. Uh, and so uh, most of the time these are internships. Um, but they can also take the form of uh, clinical rotations for our health sciences uh, students or our nursing students or student teaching experiences for our education students as well. Um, on, uh, moving on from the academics, um, on the financial side of things, we give uh, competitive aid packages as well. Um, for, um, all students upon applying uh, as freshmen, uh, I will automatically review review you guys for a scholarship package ranging from $15,000 to $21,500 off your total bill each year. And that's on top of whatever you might be eligible for under FAFSA. And in addition to that, uh, we also have a robust and growing HEOP program uh, that, we're, uh, that we're really excited about. We're bringing in about, um, about 40 or so uh, HEOP students this year. Really excited and that's uh, that number is set to grow. Um, there's lots to do on campus. We have over 75 different clubs and activities, as well as 20 different D3 sports. So if you're an athlete, get in touch with us. There's also lots to do off campus as well. Um, uh, lots of organizations to volunteer for uh, and organizations to potentially do your, um, your internship with as well and potentially get employed after. Uh, we also too, speaking of employment uh, rates, we have a 94% uh, employment rate uh, within six months of graduation. So that's, uh, that's something we're proud of as well. 
Um, so if nothing else, I hope this is uh, said, hey, I wanna apply, how do I do that? Um, it's really simple. You can apply either right online on our website, sage.edu, or use the Common App, both are free. Um, we're looking for um, about a 2.5 and above GPA, um, as well as a one to two letters of recommendation, an essay, and um, we also have we are also SAT optional before COVID for all of our majors, and we're going to be and we're going to continue to be SAT optional after COVID. Um, so with that, yes, I will leave my uh, my contact information in the chat. Please, I, uh, I I encourage you to reach out, and I will go ahead and share my screen. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Uh, I left my contact info in the chat. Please feel free to reach out. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Next up is going to be Clarkson University. Hello, everybody. My name is Oscar Rodriguez, and I will be talking to you about Clarkson University. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Clarkson University is in Upstate, New York, in the town of Potsdam. We're a small private school. We have about 3,000 students. Um, we also, those are our undergraduate students, and we also have about 250 students that are doing their master's and PhD work. Many times they end up being your TAs, uh, lab assistants, and, and they're very present helping out the undergraduates. Uh, this is our campus. Again, beautiful campus, 600 acres. Um, Clarkson started as Clarkson, the School of Technology back in the day, and now we have become a university because we have a uh, School of Engineering, School of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, and a School of Business, and also an Institute of Sustainability. Well, it seems beautiful. Um, definitely way up state, uh, six and a half hours from you. Um, but the town is definitely a college town. We have a SUNY school right there and uh, two other schools in the town over. And I'll talk to you about our undergraduate programs and what's available. This is uh, Professor Miller. He's the chairman of the chemistry department. His classes are very, very uh, interactive because a lot of our students switch from chemistry to chemical engineering. Uh, so at uh, Clarkson, again, you can switch from um, programs um, as long as I always tell students, as long as you get solid grades freshman year. So schools will tell you, it's really easy to switch majors and go and try different things, but just make sure you work hard, you get good grades um, your freshman year, and then you'll have more, more opportunities, I would say. So School of Liberal Arts and Sciences, uh, many different programs available. It's about 35% of the whole school, uh, the sciences, uh, and also anything that has to do with humanity, political science, sociology, those departments are small, but very, very strong. They leave you a lot of flexibility to really, really find what you wanna do within you know, your liberal arts and sciences. We have a school of engineering. Clarkson 
we get the big reputation of engineering school. It's about 60% of the school. Um, nine different programs, all of them accredited by ABED, the American Board of Engineering and Technology. Uh, so it's very nice that in your first year, you take a, a common core uh, program. And then during your sophomore year, if you want to kind of talk about what engineering is best for you, you know, that is also available, or you can just apply directly to the programs, which is, which is great. And again, within the nine programs, there's many minors and concentrations available. I'll show you a slide with some minors uh, that we have that you can have with your major and, and collaborate uh, your degree with. Business school, which is great. Um, we have six different business programs and the school is accredited by the ACSB, the Associate uh, Collegiate Schools of Business. Uh, many of our engineers and scientists end up getting a minor in business and then our business students hang out with students that are doing science, engineering. So they end up getting positions or offices uh, with tech companies, science companies, uh, and, and much more. It's a great setup. We have an Institute for Sustainability of the Environment at Clarkson. So it's kind of the fourth school. Um, it's a little smaller, but again, if you're doing biology, um, health, health or cell biology, you'll be in the labs. If you're more into ecology, um, environmental science, you will have your own institute. Uh, Clarkson's huge, we say, uh, saving the environment and also making money. So uh, in both ways, uh, you know, they go hand in hand sometimes. Uh, great pre-advising programs for all of you that are looking for pre-dentistry, pre-law, pre-medicine, occupational therapy, physical therapy. We have a great physician's assistance therapy for after undergraduate and pre-veterinary. So these are just a few minors and concentrations that you can um, also get with, with your major. So a lot of times your math classes, your science classes count for both degrees and you only have to take a few other ones to get a minor. We encourage that very much here at Clarkson. Professional experience at Clarkson's are required. So for you to graduate, you have to uh, either do an internship, a co-op, research with a professor or study abroad. Many of our students do more than one. They might do two internships and still do research or a co-op and then a study abroad. Um, in the middle of their time doing their undergraduate. Um, it looks really great because our students work really hard to get that accredited degree. It looks really good in the resume and they always have a professional experience to, to collaborate. Uh, and we'll help you find them. It, they're very designed for what you actually wanna do and your major. Tons of societies for you to join. We say Clarkson is very uh, peer oriented. So the uh, Medical Assistance Professional Society, Society of Women Engineers, Society of Professional Women. We have many other social clubs regarding religion and just, um, I guess, uh, in a way, sociology and, and things that you wanna be more involved in. Uh, we have a great diversity and inclusion lounge and a meditation lounge for you to pray, meditate, and practice any religion. Again, uh, we're the Golden Knights. We have sports teams. We have over 200 clubs, and tons of opportunities to be involved in and volunteer. Uh, and the school has a really, really strong, relation, strong relationship with the town. So it's, it's uh, a, a nice setup overall. And again, my name is Oscar Rodriguez. I'm one of the assistant deans of admissions. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Oscar. Um, next up is gonna be St. Bonaventure University. Hi, everybody. Let me just share my screen real fast and we'll be ready to go. All right. So my name is Chris Shepner. I am our Associate Director of Admissions here at St. Bonaventure. And um, I'm also a Bonaventure graduate myself. I graduated in 2013 and I've literally never left. I've been working at St. Bonaventure since the day I graduated uh, back in 2013. Uh, my brother is actually a senior in high school right now and he just committed to St. Bonaventure as well. So I couldn't be more thrilled about that. Um, I'll give you a little bit of info. I know we only have a short amount of time. So we are a small private Franciscan university in the Western part of New York state or Franciscan, just like you guys, we are about six hours away from you. So literally the other end of the state. Uh, we are about an hour and a half south of Buffalo from, for your reference. It's not Buffalo snow though, I promise. Uh, we miss a lot of that lake effect type snow. When I say we're smaller, about 1800 undergraduate students at small class sizes, hands-on personalized attention. You see there it's a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. 
the 97% of our graduates are in jobs in their field within six months of graduation or in graduate school. So we really do work hand in hand with our students to make sure they go where they want to go, do what they want to do. Uh, like I said, a small it is a small school, so we do have the time for our professors to get to know our students. It is a community in every sense of the word. We're, we're smaller than you guys at, at St. Francis Prep. Here's all of our majors, and I'm going to quickly break down what we have to offer in each of our schools. So our, our School of Arts and Sciences, the biggest pro, uh, school on campus, we have um, biology is our biggest major on campus in terms of sheer number. You see criminology there, behavioral neuroscience has really been growing, and we have some combined degree medical school programs where you can actually get into med school before you leave high school. So they're, they're combined programs. You do three or four years of St. Bonaventure and then four years um, at the professional school. We also have a program for physical therapy, pharmacy, dental school as well. And then the last thing I want to point out here is MAP. That's Major Adventures Program. That's for coming in undecided. It's completely okay to not have any clue what you want to do and that when you get to college and what you want to do for the next 50 years. Most of us probably were in the same boat that are, especially like I always say as an admissions counselor, I didn't go to school to be an admissions counselor. So that's okay to kind of figure it out while you're in school. Our School of Health Professions is our newest school on campus. Undergraduate majors in health science and public health. We also have a PA program, occupational therapy programs, uh, and, they, and a one-to-one -one nursing program. So we do have direct entry for those programs, whether they're at the undergrad or graduate level. Our School of Business is one of the things that we're really, really known for at St. Bonaventure. We are AACSB accredited, so that's the highest accreditation that you can have as a business program. Only 5% of schools in the entire country have that program. We also have a four plus one MBA program. So you can get your master's in just uh, one extra year, two degrees, five years, you can't really beat that. Our School of Communications, I was a journalism major at St. Bonaventure. We have a lot of ways you can get involved. It's going to be a heavy writing-based curriculum early, but then you can veer off into the broadcast realm, into the sports media side. If anybody is an NBA fan, Adrian Wojnarowski, the biggest NBA insider, works at ESPN. He's a Bonaventure grad. He does events with us all the time. He's actually helping with our new journalism master's programs and is going to teach some classes on campus. And then our students also have the opportunity to, to work with ESPN Plus and actually broadcast all of our D1 sporting events. Our School of Education is also uh, one of the majors that's very popular. We have majors in early childhood, elementary, and special education. And you can do a double or triple certification and come out certified to teach two or all three of those uh, populations. Then we also have adolescence education if you want to teach high school and phys ed if you want to um, go that route as well. Being a Franciscan school, as you guys know, everything we do is rooted in service. It's the same thing for, for all of you as well. So here are some of our service opportunities on campus. The Warming House is actually the oldest student-run soup kitchen in the entire country, uh, and it's right in our town. MERT is called Medical Emergency Response Team, and that is a program where you can be EMT certified right on our campus. Bona Buddies is like a big brother, big sister program, and Bona Responds is uh, exactly what it sounds like, Bona Venture Responding. It's our students, faculty, and alumni going to help anywhere there's a natural disaster in the entire country and really, uh, truly give back, and that's what St. Bona Venture is all about. Uh, is really helping others, helping the poor, the less fortunate, and really just being of service to the community. And finally, athletics. We are, like I said, we are D1. We play in the Atlantic 10 Conference. We made the tournament this past year, lost to LSU in the first round. But we bring everybody back. We've got five, we have five junior starters. That means we have five senior starters. If you look at everything uh, in terms of the way too early rankings, we might start the year ranked. We've been ranked since the 70s. So it's a really exciting time on campus. Tickets are free for students as well. Uh, for all of our sporting events, and we have so, some pretty solid sports teams across the board. Our tennis team is down in Orlando right now in action. Our rugby team is one of the better rugby teams at their level in the country as well. This is our admissions process. It's pretty standard, rolling admissions, two to three week turnaround. Um, use the Common App. We are free to apply that way, and we are test optional as well. Um, so I'm going to wrap that up so that way we can get over to our other presenters tonight. But um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening. Awesome, thank you, Chris. Next up is gonna be St. Thomas Aquinas. All right, how's everyone doing tonight? My name is Ryan Gasser. I am an admission counselor at St. Thomas Aquinas College. I also graduated from St. Thomas Aquinas College in 2017. So I'm here to tell you all, all the great little things that are going on on the campus in general. 
So academics at St. Thomas Aquinas College, we have schools of arts and sciences. It's our most, it's our largest school on the campus. Uh, anything from biology, communications, criminal justice, psychology, some of the top uh, majors in the school of arts and sciences that we offer. And we also have a school of education and school of business if arts and sciences isn't down your alley. So anything from the education standpoint, um, from grades K all the way to 12. And we also offer school of business. Um, some of the top majors in there are as follows the marketing, sports management, or just in general, if you want to look into management. Along with the academics, we offer a great career counseling, uh, career development office, where we offer annual job and internship fairs, mock interviews, resume writing, dining etiquette, uh, dress for success, professional panels, and trips to major companies in New York City. Uh, one of our top ones is we always go down to Wall Street and to New York City because it's relatively close to our campus. We're about 20 to 25 minutes to New York City, so we do offer a lot of trips into there. The best thing about being a freshman at our campus is freshmen are encouraged to get an internship once you step on campus. You'll be connected with someone from the career development office that will be able to prepare you in any way possible to be prepared for possible internships in the summer. And that's what we really strive for because after you graduate college, every single job always says two to three years experience. So we want to make sure our students are ready for the real world. Along with our great academics, we have NCAA Division II sports. Um, as a list, men's sports and women's sports, everything from basketball all the way down to women's triathlon. Uh, a lot of different sports that we offer. Um, we're members of the East Coast Conference and Along with our varsity sports in the NCAA Division II, we offer club sports. Anything from sprint football, which is 178 pounds or lighter, ice hockey, and esports, and as well as many intramurals. Along with the club and intramural sports, we have a lot of clubs that are student ran, over 100 clubs to be exact. And all, if there is a club that you want to start, all you need is for students just to have the same interests or just to join to uplift the new program. So how to apply? We're members of the Common Application. Um, you could easily apply through our website, www.stack.edu. Um, if you ever have any issues with the Common App, you could always reach out to any of the admission counselors on the Stack website. And we'll be able to walk with you step by step on how to apply and get your application in. We're now test optional as well. And for the most part, all we would need is your official high school transcript and a letter of recommendation. Now, with all the academics and uh, varsity sports that we offer on the campus, you might say, what else is there a reason to apply? So this is also an eye opener a, called Stack Pledge. So these are all the guarantees that you would receive from coming to St. Thomas Aquinas College. We will provide you with at least $50,000 in scholarships and grants over four years, guarantee you four years of on-campus living, as well as connect you with a mentor, internship opportunities, job interviews, and further career development. Now, I also forgot to mention that we have a new president on the campus who is really striving to grow the campus and look towards the future in a positive light. Just recently, we added an additional part, over 20 acres of land onto our campus. So as you can see, the main campus on the bottom right-hand corner and McNeil's Commons, which is some freshman dorms, as well as the Spartan Field. There was a big gap in between the, com the dorms and the Spartan Field. So we just purchased this piece of land, which will definitely enhance our size as a whole and really opens the door for different possibilities on our campus. Thank you for attending. If you guys have any questions at all, you can feel free to reach out to me in my email or give me a call or a text. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. And our last school to present is gonna be Mercy College.
All right, excellent. Uh, welcome everyone uh, to uh, Mercy College's uh, presentation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so at Mercy College, um, we have four different campus locations all in New York State. Um, we have a great combination of uh, city and country as well as um, energetic and uh, serene. Our, our first and our, our, our biggest location is in Dobbs Ferry. Um, that's right in Westchester. So we're right on the Hudson River um, itself. We have access to um, sports here, um, as well as a, a robust residence life and student life as well. Um, the next campus we have is our Mercy Manhattan campus. It's right on 34th Street, um, really right in the heart of Manhattan itself. We also have uh, some great dorms um, here that you can actually uh, live in the center of the city as well. We're right across the street from Macy's and a ton of great opportunities, um, you know, in terms of internship, um, different job opportunities as well. We also have our Bronx campus, which really uh, specializes in our health sciences and our partnership with the Montefiore Hospital um, over there. Um, we're right in the Hutchison, Hutchison um, Center Parkway as well. Um, so very convenient to get to. Our school is broken down um, into five, diff um, five different schools. So we have our School of Business, our School of Liberal Arts, Education, Social Behavioral Sciences, and Health and Natural Sciences. So for, uh, for School of Business, you can do everything from business administration to entrepreneurship to marketing. Our liberal arts um, really has a robust uh, program in terms of everything from uh, you know, to studying math, uh, different sciences, as well as uh, digital uh, communications um, and graphic design as well. Um, our School of Education, you can do um, different levels of teaching um, itself, whether it's um, um, pre-K uh, pre to um, you know, second grade itself, all the way up to high school. Um, and then the social and behavioral sciences are really our help, helping majors. So whether you're looking to do anything in like criminal justice, psychology, you'll probably fall into that major as well. And then our health and natural sciences has our most popular majors, including nursing, biology, occupational therapy, uh, physical therapy as well, um, and as well, and uh, biology with the pre-med track and veterinary science. Uh, to get accepted into these programs uh, for our health and natural sciences, the requirement is about an 85 or higher, um, whereas our um, other programs is um, typically about an 80 uh, percent. Again, these are some of the programs that I did mention um, before. Um, so on the undergraduate level, we have everything from uh, inter international business um, in terms of business administration to accounting uh, to international relations and diplomacy, computer science, um, psychology, criminal justice, so lots of different options. And then we also do offer graduate programs are really good, uh, four plus one. So you can also get your MBA um, as well if you're looking to pursue that um, through a fast track program as well, um, different health science degrees, as well as your uh, physical therapy uh, degree and the doctoral level. So our biggest uh, you know, benefit of uh, Mercy is our mentorship that comes with this. Um, so from the very first day you uh, decide to commit to Mercy, you'll um, be assigned a PACT mentor. PACT simply stands for Personalized Achievement Contract. Uh, your mentors assigned to you from the first day, they work with you uh, from registering to classes all the way uh, to graduation. And they're typically uh, from your school itself. So they'll be skilled um, in, in those skills as far as helping you navigate the college experience. So whether it's your financial aid, uh, your classes, starting a club, uh, different activities uh, throughout our campus, your PAC mentor is really there to help and support you. These are some of the places that our uh, students have landed uh, different careers. So you'll see everything from the New York Yankees to the Bronx Zoo to MTV, um, you know, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, um, lots of different in industries that we've worked with. And uh, these, uh, this list only continues to grow. We also have a robust student life on our three on our uh, three different campuses that we do offer. So we have everything from uh, student government uh, to our student newspaper, uh, a really robust uh, model UN club as well. Lots of intramural sports. Um, and the bet the benefit of coming to our school, we are a small campus, so um, you know on all of our campuses. So if we don't have a club that um, you, that we offer, you can definitely start that. Get three to four students who are interested in the same thing, and you can get a faculty or staff member to assist you, and we'll be um, you know more than happy to help you start your club. We're also Division Two. Um, we have both um, you know men's and women's sports. We do offer more uh, women's sports at our school. That's just the way our demographics typically break down um, at Mer uh, Mercy. And our sports are only offered at our Dobbs Ferry campus um, for the moment. So as far as, as far as affordability goes, 
Our tuition um, right now is currently at uh, $20,734 for tuition and registration fees. We're uh, one of the most affordable private institutions um, out there with a 44% less uh, tuition than some other private schools. Um, and that's something that we do strive to keep uh, low for our students. And in doing this, uh, we typically award about 35 million um, in scholarships each year to our students. Um, again, just to help alleviate uh, the expenses that come with attending college. We also have a Mercy College full tuition scholarship as well called Mercy Scholars, and that's typically has a financial need component and it's, uh, you know, towards high achieving students. So students are able to um, get a full ride from Mercy as well. As far as next steps in applying, we typically look for an 80% or higher. Uh, we are uh, SAT, ACT optional and a personal essay is recommended as well as letter of recommendation, although it's not required. And uh, here's my contact information in case you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at admissions at mercy.edu. We'll be happy to uh, talk to you about any next steps, um, assisting with any campus stores as we are open uh, for campus tours as well. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome, thank you. And folks, that actually wraps up um, the schools that we had presenting today. So we're gonna move into a quick Q&A session. At this point, I'd love to invite back our panelists uh, so that we can answer these questions. Our panelists are gonna answer these questions in the same order that they presented. Um, so please follow as they answer. Our first school to answer is gonna be Hartwick College. And the question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Yeah, so I think the advice that I would give um, a college student is to not be afraid to reach out to the admissions counselors at any institution that you are applying for. Um, we are here to answer just about anything. Also, when it comes to financial aid, um, our financial aid offices are always there to help out um, any student with the FAFSA process. Awesome, thank you. And that brings us to uh, Russell Sage. Yeah, um, so just to piggyback off uh, what Nora said, um, you absolutely want to be in touch with us as admissions counselors. Um, that's literally our job, it's to help you guys out and help you navigate this whole process. Um, something too, I would, uh, I would imagine, is, I would suggest that uh, I'm just now really uh, learning on the job is that um, be honest with us about what you're looking for in a college. Don't tell us what you uh, what you know you think that we uh, want to hear um, because if um, if our school isn't necessarily the best fit for you, um, we probably know somebody else. Uh, we probably know somebody uh, at another school that fits really well for you. I know I've had a couple of um, students who wanted to be engineers, and I actually I. I sent them up to uh, up to Oscar at Clarkson. Um, Oscar, I don't know that I that I directed them right to you, but I was like, hey, no, Clarkson, that's where you want to go. Um, and yeah, so just you know, be honest with us. We're really we're here to help you out. Um, and last thing I want to mention, this might be uh, pretty intuitive given that we're in a group of private colleges, but I know when I looked at uh, schools not all that long ago, um, I looked at SUNYs because sticker price of a SUNY is about half the sticker price of a private college, but you don't pay sticker price when you go to a private college. It's sort of just a good general rule of thumb. Uh, so, uh, and I know a lot of the students who I see packaged now um, are going to school for less than I went to school. So that would be my advice. Hello, everybody. Uh, Oscar from Clarkson. Uh, I would say to start the process early and, and give yourself quite a bit of time to look at schools, fill out your applications. You know, the, the common application is just one, but there might be schools where you might want to just fill out their application. Um, and don't, don't stress yourself too much about it. You know, like enjoy it and, and, and don't, let it, um, don't let it stress you out where it, where, where it hits your grades or it makes them go, go, go lower than what you have right now. Um, also, get involved with the department that you're looking into. So check out their professors, the programs that they're doing. If you're undecided, try to reach out to the advising office. There's usually a person there ready to talk to you and, and help you um, help you choose your track and see what options you have. And the same thing that, that Dan said, reach out to, out to our admissions 
uh, counselor. So he, he might send some people to Clarkson for engineering. I send a lot of people to other schools for nursing. So again, schools are very specific. We don't have nursing at Clarkson. So, but you'll find the school that's best for you and good luck. Hi, Chris from St. Bonaventure. I will, um, I'll keep it short because everybody's kind of taken most of the, the good advice. Just, just have fun with the process. It, it is, it, it's supposed to be fun. I know it's stressful. It's a big decision, but enjoy the college visit. Ask questions while you, you're there and you'll get to see some schools maybe you never thought you would see. If, I, if my mom didn't force me to go look at St. Bonaventure, I wouldn't be here 12 years later. So enjoy that process and have fun with it. Ryan Gasser here. Um, yeah, like everyone's saying, enjoy the process for what it is. Um, best advice I could give you guys is get out and go on to campuses that are offering uh, campus visits. Um, the best way I was able to find out I wanted to come to St. Thomas Aquinas College was getting on campus and picturing myself. Can I walk down these halls? Can I be walking across the street to go into my classrooms, go into the cafeteria? So just being and that feel definitely helps out. And also when it comes to financial aid, don't be afraid to ask us for additional aid, anything like that. The worst thing somebody could say is no. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Just keep the line of communication. Thank you. Good luck. Hey guys, uh, Arvin uh, from Mercy College here. I'll just piggyback of what everyone said. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're private institutions, so definitely uh, submit uh, financial aid appeals if that's something on your mind that's holding you back. Uh, from committing with us uh, you know you'll never know what we'll, we'll be able to uh, do for you guys especially in a year like this and uh, also visit visit all the schools that you can whether it's a virtual tour whether it's on campus because uh, again like like Ryan said you really have to feel like home uh, when you go there because you'll be spending the next four years um, at that institution uh, so just some things to think about good luck guys Awesome, thank you a lot, folks. So we're gonna move on to our second question. Um, and thank you for all the advice. And I'm sure our audience appreciates um, those steps going forward. Um, but this next question is a little bit more about what does campus feel like? Um, so the question is, what is your favorite event in tradition on campus? And again, we'll be starting off with Hartwick College. Yeah, so I think my favorite tradition about Hartwick, I'm actually also a Hartwick um, alum, I graduated in 2016, is the beginning. Um, we have open convocation. Uh, we, it's a great opportunity. In the past, parents were able to sit in, you get to hear the president, um, the vice presidents, the student leaders, and we get to have like bagpipes for the students. And in the end, they all we all get to take a ginormous class picture, which I think is very memorable. Uh, so Clarkson University, we have Division One hockey uh, in our rival. It's right down the street. It's Lawrence University. So every time they play, they play each other. Usually it's twice a year. Uh, those games are a lot of fun. Each student section is usually full and uh, our students have uh, a great time. Uh, and it just shows you athletics and just being active is very important for a school. So, you know, we also have older traditions through the year, but I think those two games are a big, a big deal at our school. Dan, is there anything that you'd like to add from Russell Sage? Yeah, I'd like to, uh, really the, the event that I like to think of is our, um, is our fall Hudson River uh, dinner. So it's just a nice night. Uh, we, take, uh, we take all of our first year students out. Um, we go and we, um, and we cruise down the, uh, down the Hudson River uh, and, have, uh, and have a nice dinner. It's just a you know, nice excuse to get dressed up and uh, mingle with your uh, with your classmates, your faculty, staff. Yeah, I'd say that's really good. Awesome, Chris. Uh, is there anything that you that comes to mind from Bonaventure University? Saint Bonaventure? Yeah, for for us, it's Bonnie's basketball. So, like I said before, we play in the Atlantic Ten. It's an awesome basketball conference. Uh, since I've been lucky enough, since I've been around, that we've been good just about every single year. We, we, the last seven years, were the most consistent program in the Atlantic 10, which Dayton was ranked number three in the country at one point, and we're more consistent than them, which is just crazy to think about, crazy to say out loud almost. But as a student, you are right on top of the action. You sit courtside, and it is free for you to do so. So you are able to go to every single home game. So we're working on making sure that can happen this fall as well, because it really could be a historic season here. So that's, that's my favorite tradition and memories, because it brings the campus together. 
Absolutely. Thanks, Chris. And the next up is going to be Ryan from St. Thomas Aquinas. Yeah, so the most frustrating thing about COVID was seeing our front lawn with no activities. Um, but what we would usually do, we have some great like a spring fest, October fest. Um, for some reason, bouncy houses as a kid is great, but bouncy houses for college students, it is a great time. And everyone is always involved, um, you know, so, and we definitely have some new events coming up through the upcoming years too. So it's very exciting. Awesome, thank you for that. And then we're gonna wrap up this presentation folks with an answer from Mercy College. All right, awesome, yeah, uh, same thing. Uh, we have a bunch of different like big campus events that bring people together, but the biggest one um, is Founders Festival. Um, and, you know, again, same thing, uh, bouncy houses, all our clubs, you know, do a different booth. Um, there's tons of like barbecue and we usually get uh, try to get like a big name like DJ or like um, artists to like come to our school. So it's a big um, party on campus. And then on the ends with like a concert performance. Um, for, and it's just a great welcome back for our current students and new students as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So folks, that actually brings us to the end of our presentation. And I just want to start off by saying thank you to our panelists. Um, they were here, they gave us a lot of information about their schools and all the things that make it special. So thank you for being here. And also to our audience for thinking through what, it, what steps you can take in the future. Um, with those closing thoughts, once you close this window, there's gonna be a very quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide for us. Um, also, there's more sessions to be offered. So sign up for more. In about a week, you can find the same recording at strivescan.com backslash SFP. Thank you so much, everybody, and take care from wherever you join us from today.